We uh, have, we were supposed to have Sissel here, but instead we have her on the phone right now. Sissel, it's Laura. Where are you? I'm, I'm home in Scandinavia. Oh, what happened? We were so looking forward to your visit. Oh, so was I, but I've been so busy. I'm in, in between of a, a very big tour, and actually I was, uh, I was at the end, that people told me that I, they refused me to go because I was very tired in the middle of every touring, and, you know, it was so sad. I've been so much looking forward to come over to you. It was such a long time since I've seen you all. So I was very sad that I couldn't come. Yeah, we are too. We were all looking forward to it. But I'm glad you could stay up extra late and, and at least come on the phone for us. And uh, then you'll go back to sleep and rest up. <laughs> yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sleep. I can sleep long tomorrow. That's good. <laughs> well, you are coming to visit on October 4th, right? Yes, I'm coming to the town hall. I, I, well, it's, I guess it's over two years ago since I was there. And it's... Oh, I have so many good memories. So I'm so happy that I got this chance to come back. Oh, good. And what will you be performing? Will it be a mix of your uh, past albums and your new Into Paradise? I think the main will be on Into Paradise, but of course I will, I will have, I will do some other songs as well. I have been working on quite a lot of new material since last time, but. You know, I always, I always try to mix a little bit, but it's like the crossover genre and into the classical, like Into Paradise is. Oh, well, I think everybody watching is going to love that show. I, I just hope we get everybody to call up and make a pledge so that they can come and see you. Yeah, that would be wonderful. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Good. Okay, well, we'll talk to you a little bit later, all right? Yes. And we will hear a little bit more from Sissel. She's um, promised to stay up so that we can chat with her because she wasn't able to make her trip here. But uh, we are hoping that you will now call and make a pledge of support to us here on WLIW. As we have a surprise for you, we have Sissel on the telephone. Sissel, we have you on the line. We're keeping you up late even though you're not feeling well. Thank you. Well, thank you. It's my, I, I wish I was there with you, but um, this is the best solution right now. Well, we are really happy to hear from you because we haven't had a special from you and I guess it's, it's been a couple of years. What have you been doing the last couple of years? Ooh, I've been, I've been working on two different albums. One album that was only released in Scandinavia and then it's this album, Into Paradise. That's, that's a classical album, or classical. And then I've been touring with uh, Lord of the Rings, the symphony. I've done that, we toured with that all over the world when I was, I was a soloist. And then I got the chance to tour in America as well. And uh, I thought that was, I think it was, that was fantastic and it took a lot of time. And then I've been touring in Scandinavia, so I've, I've been pretty busy. <laughs> Well, that's good to hear, and we're, we're glad that you're booking up your fall schedule. Uh, you're going to come to New York to Town Hall in September, in October. Do you remember when you performed there the last time? Oh, oh yes, I remember so well, because it's one of those, um, it's a very old theater, and you have, a, it's a very nice atmosphere, and it's very intimate, and... Um, I remember when we came there, it was like, wow, you feel like this was a very historical place. And uh, I think that the audience that were there uh, with, with us at that time was, was also very, um, they really enjoyed being there because it's a very, it's really intimate. Oh, it certainly is. It, it, every seat is a good seat and uh, you've been kind enough to make this a concert that's right now exclusive just for our viewers. So you're giving the PBS members the first chance at seats. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> you wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> no, no other way. <laughs> this is the way it should be. <laughs> well, great. We thank you for that. Hey, if you could hold on just a little bit longer and stay up with us, we want to talk to you a little bit in the next break. Is that okay with you? Yes. Good. All right. We'll, we'll talk to you in a little bit. 
Isn't she sweet? I'm so glad that she's uh, taking our call and listening to you. Now, we're ready to take your call here. Now, as you know, the lovely Sissel was unable to make this trip. Her voice teacher told her, "Uh uh-uh, no traveling, because, of course, she has to keep her voice strong. But we kept her up late, and she's on the phone with us right now. Sissel? Well, we are back with Sissel. We have her on the line. And uh, Sissel, I promise we're going to let you go to sleep in just a few moments. (laughs) Thank you. No, that's fine. But you know what I was thinking? Uh, I'm thinking back to the years we've been working together, you and I, and that you've been on public television. And I think WLIW was one of the first stations to even air your concert. Yes, they were, and I, I, I have the same feeling as I had that time that it was so it was so great to be part of. Uh, it was like entering a family, like the PBS family. I mean, I, I know a lot of artists. They talk about that that I met that also been uh, been that PBS have aired their show, and it's like a part of a family, and that PBS have given artists like myself uh, such a great opportunity to come out to an audience mm. and to um, you know t- now you you know PBS actually you know you helped me to do this tour that I could come out to an American audience and do this concert at the Tone Hall and if it hadn't been for PBS I wouldn't be able to do so. Cecil, I heard that you were knighted is that true? Yes, by the King of Norway. I yes, I was knighted. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we need to call you now? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Just call me Sissel. That's easy. <laughs> and tell me about the ceremony. What was that like? Ah, oh, that was um, that was fantastic. I uh, the ceremony is actually actually in Norway. Uh, there is a two representatives from the castle. Uh, comes down to this reception and then they, they have a speech that uh, the king had written and then uh, they gave me this this medal and it was such a I mean the, the feeling that that you have when you stand there it's it's enormous I mean I felt like I wanted to cry and and over in front of me were all my friends my family and people been traveling from all over Europe to come and and join me in this very special ceremony. Well, (laughs) Sir Sissel, congratulations. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Okay, we'll talk to you soon, Sissel. Yes. Bye. Bye. Sir Sissel, what do you think about that? There must be a better name than that. We're, We're just fooling around here, but it was quite an honor for her, don't you think? Well, you will see her when you join us at that concert on October the 4th.